Today's episode of Variant is brought to you by Lynda.com. Today on Variant, I give you the history of Deathstroke. Welcome to Variant, we love comics more than I hate making a hot dog only to realize I don't have any mustard or ketchup. I'm your host, Aris Quinones. Today I'm going to be doing the history of one of the most requested characters by you guys, and that would be Deathstroke, which I can't blame you. He's one of my favorite comic book characters and definitely one of the deadliest characters in all of comic books. So, with that said, I'm going to tell you how this deadly contract killer got started and why he's so awesome. Deathstroke was created by writer Marv Wolfman and amazing artist George Perez, and first appeared in issue 2 of the New Teen Titans in 1980. He was originally known as the Terminator or Deathstroke the Terminator, but with the making of the popular Terminator movie franchise which came out 4 years after Deathstroke's creation, the name was abandoned to avoid the possible confusion. So now he's simply called Deathstroke, although sometimes people still call him Deathstroke the Terminator. I'm actually glad they changed his name, I personally think Deathstroke sounds way cooler all on its own. As for his comic origin, well it goes a little something Something like this. At age 16, Slade Wilson was determined to enlist in the US Army, so he ran away from home and lied about his age to be in the Army. He soon showed talents and skills in guerrilla warfare, far superior than any other soldiers in the Army, and was quickly promoted over and over by his superiors. After a while, his outstanding reputation landed him under the wing of Adeline Kane. She was an instructor who became one of his superiors and eventually his wife. Slade trained under his future wife and quickly amazed her, demonstrating he was an expert in combat and had impressive talents and skills. Slade mastered several combat styles and was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel. Sometime later, Slade married Adeline and had a really productive honeymoon as they soon had their first son, Grant Wilson, who later becomes the first Ravager, but I'll touch on that a little later. After the birth of their first son, the army asked Slade to be a volunteer for a secret medical experiment that was said to be a defense against the enemy's truth serum, so he agreed. It was later revealed to really be an attempt to create a super soldier. Slade's body reacted violently to the experiment and made him aggressive and enraged, and he needed to remain sedated and bedridden through the birth of his second son, Joseph Wilson. Only later would Slade discover that the experiment had worked and actually enhanced his strength, speed, senses, stamina, and reflexes beyond that of any ordinary man. With his duties in the army limited to that of desk work, Slade dedicated himself to professional hunting in order to fill the void he felt within himself as a fighter. However, this life was put on hold when William Randolph Wintergreen, a lifelong friend, was sent on a suicide mission and was captured. His superiors refused to help, so Slade was forced to do the impossible. He put together a costume and went on an unauthorized solo mission to save his friend. In the end, he saved Wintergreen but was discharged from the army for disobeying orders. Slade decided this was for the best, fed up with the army and its code of blind loyalty. Loyalty. Slade created the costume persona of Deathstroke the Terminator, becoming one of the greatest mercenaries the world of comic books would ever know. One thing people who don't know much about Deathstroke always want to know is how did he lose his right eye? Well, let's just say Pink Eye is much more serious than we all thought. Okay, that's not true at all. To tell you plain and simple, his wife shot him in the head in an attempt to kill him. But thanks to his enhanced reflexes and his healing factor, he was able to save his life only losing his right eye. She was mad that he had been lying to her and not telling her he took the persona of Deathstroke with his newfound powers becoming a contract killer. Along with her being extremely pissed, he didn't give the villain Jackal the information he wanted in order to save their second son, which resulted in their son's throat being slit, causing him to become mute. What Jackal wanted to know was who hired Deathstroke to kill Jackal's business partner. Partner. But Deathstroke said, as a professional, I cannot reveal that information. My word is my bond. So what we learned from this is, along with superhuman abilities, he has the power of superhuman secret keeping. And I bet you guys didn't know he had that power, so you're welcome. As for Deathstroke's personality, depending on the writer, Deathstroke can be a violent, gun-wielding mercenary, not afraid to kill, a likable anti-hero, or just another hired gun meant to fill in comic pages. His character is molded by a certain code of ethics that may change at any given time depending on the situation of his life. When his code is stricter, he can become one of the good guys, while other times he can almost completely throw his honor out the door and do something as cold-blooded and senseless as destroying an entire city, like the destruction of Bloodhaven and the Infinite Crisis story arc, or even murdering a group of teenage mercenaries. Deathstroke is most commonly known as a Teen Titans villain, beginning when his first son Grant, who I mentioned earlier, received superhuman enhancements from Hive, which is a supervillain organization. Grant then dubbed himself Ravager. He accepted a contract from them to kill or capture the Teen Titans, but failed and ends up dying, at which point Deathstroke agreed to complete the contract for him, which is actually the first story for Deathstroke and the first appearance for him in the new Teen Titans issue 2. The Ravager mantle would later be taken over by Deathstroke's daughter Rose Wilson. Besides being a Teen Titans villain, Deathstroke 
Deathstroke is pretty well known for being a Batman villain, and even appeared in the latest Arkham game, Batman Arkham Origins. He has encountered Batman on several different occasions, but even more so than Batman, he's fought against Dick Grayson. Starting with Grayson's Teen Titan days all the way to his Nightwing days, to the point where Deathstroke is considered more of a member of Nightwing's rogues gallery than Batman's. One really interesting fact about Deathstroke is his creation is sort of responsible for Deadpool. As I said in my History of Deadpool episode, Deadpool is basically just a straight up copy of Deathstroke. Artist Rob Liefeld was creating a new character, Deadpool, and showed his idea and concept to writer Fabian Nuceza. When Fabian saw all the characteristics of Deadpool, like being a mercenary, having super agility, a healing factor, he said to Liefeld, this is pretty much just Deathstroke from the Teen Titans. But obviously they move forward anyway, and Fabian gave Deadpool the real name of Wade Wilson as an inside joke to being related to Slade Wilson, aka Deathstroke, which is hilarious. So for all you huge Deadpool fans, you can thank Deathstroke. Deathstroke is easily one of the deadliest characters in the DC Universe. He's a super soldier, so he has every ability you would expect that comes along with that super strength, speed, endurance, and intellect. His body heals from injuries much faster than any normal human. One of his best abilities, I think, is he can think nine times faster than most humans, which allows him to calculate and strategize in combat extremely well. So all that along with having enhanced senses, reflexes, agility, being an expert marksman, soldier, and combatant makes him one man you really wouldn't want to mess with, and a pain in the balls for any hero. Now, with all that Deathstroke info in your head now, you probably want to know what are some good Deathstroke comics to read, and as always, I got you covered. You have World Tour 93 that takes place in Deathstroke the Terminator issues 27 through 34, the new Teen Titans issue 2, Deathstroke the Terminator Full Cycle, City of Assassins which takes place in Deathstroke the Terminator issues 6 through 9, Identity Crisis issue 3, Nightwing Renegade, New Teen Titans The Judas Contract, and Trial of the Terminator in Tales of the New Teen Titans issue 53 through 55. Those should be enough to get your Deathstroke fix. Lynda.com is an online learning company with more than 77,000 video tutorials that teach software, creative, and business skills. Memberships start at $25 per month and provides an unlimited 24-7 access to top quality video courses taught by expert instructors with real-world experience. Learn anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace from bite-sized video tutorials to comprehensive courses in web design, program design, photography, business, audio and video, 3D and animation. And you can learn on the go with their optimized mobile sites or free iPhone and iPad app for members. Try lynda.com free for seven days by visiting lynda.com forward slash variant. First up for Wednesday, February 5th, we have Wolverine Issue 1. Wolverine has something to prove before he can take on Sabretooth again. Next we have 5 Ghosts Issue 9. It's Lost Coastlines Part 3 and a dark shadow from Fabian's past closes in. Here we have Detective Comics Issue 28. The Scarecrow makes the ultimate bid for control of Gotham City citizens, but why is everybody so happy about it? Nothing is as it seems, and the strange gets stranger in Gothopia Part 2 of 3. Now we have Earth 2 Issue 20. Superman's plans for Earth 2 finally come to light as Batman, Hawkeye, and Red Tornado join a new ally who could turn the tide in the war with Apocalypse. And finally, we have Forever Evil Issue 5. With everything to lose, Lex Luthor and his Injustice League raid the stronghold of the crime syndicate with consequences so devastating, the DC Universe will never be the same. Well, that brings another episode of Variant to a close, but remember to like our Variant Facebook page to keep up with the show and all things comic related. You can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Aris underscore Quinones. But that is it, and I'll see you all here next week when I talk about all things comics. You huge Deadpool fans, you could think that you could take Deathstroke. <laughs> Joseph Wilson. Only later would Slade would Slade discover that the experiment had worked. <laughs> Fed up with the army and its co code, 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 code. I'm stuck on repeat.